Welcome to another Mobotics video tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be explaining the Vaxtor license plate recognition quick setup in the M73. Here you will see a driveway. We've installed the camera in a place where you can actually uh, easily recognize license plates. So the first thing is you go to the setup menu. Now we have to activate the apps. So go down to certified apps, hit the check mark, hit set, and then wait a few seconds. Then the list of the apps will appear. Scroll all the way down until you see the Vaxtor app. Hit the check mark, and then hit set. Then you need to wait a few seconds, and then you scroll down again, and now we're going to be entering the configuration of the Vaxtor app. Now, here we can uh, set the countries. If you need to expand the menu, uh, hit the plus sign up at the upper right. But here now we're going to set the countries, in this case, of course, Germany. If you need to set a second country, go ahead and do so. But in this case, uh, we don't need to. So just uh, you can delete that. If you are in the United States, you can actually pick the state that you are uh, in. There are many default settings already in the configuration. So if you need to change any of these, go ahead, but many of the defaults already apply to the configuration. So you can just go ahead and leave them. Now we're going to be setting a recognition area. You can actually set an inclusion or exclusion uh, recognition area. In this case, we're going to be doing an inclusion recognition area. Now you can show the recognition area, which makes it easier for us to see uh, what area is being uh, recognized. So here we're going now to set the rectangle. It's very simple, very easy. Using the mouse, you set a nice little rectangle, make the recognition area large enough to recognize anything that's driving into the driveway. So at the upper right, hit the check mark to set the rectangle. You can add other recognition areas if required, and then you can number them. But in this case, we just don't, we just need one area. So go ahead and uh, delete that second area. Then we create a whitelist and a blacklist. Here we've entered some license plates that we know are going to be in the driveway or uh, basically a whitelist. Then you set here the sensor that will be recognizing and the overview sensor. So you can set those here. You can see they're already set. Again, many, many defaults already set. Minimum plate characters, um, basically you can set those things. Just keep going, scrolling down until you see something that you might need to change. Uh, we, of course, we have the confidence level, uh, character confidence level, those kind of things. And you just can play around with the defaults if you need to. When reporting, you can actually set uh, the hub as a report um, platform or the Vaxtor Helix 6 uh, platform a, or JSON, depending on what you need. But in this case, it's just a simple configuration that the camera can do by itself. Then keep scrolling down. You'll see many of the defaults make sense. So just review everything again. And then when you're done reviewing, hit set. And then close. Hit OK. Now the configuration is permanently set into the camera. You will see here that the recognition area is still active so that we can see what's going on. Then in a few seconds, you will see a vehicle enter the recognition area. And an alarm, of course, goes off, which is the, the standard one we've set. And then on the bottom left, you will see that the license plate was recognized. I would like to thank you for joining the uh, tutorial and I wish you all a great day.